the beauty zenu we kick off with a warm welcome and some refreshments a chance for everyone to mingle and share the excitement for what's to come before we proceed let's remind ourselves of what youth camp is all about youth camp is a partnership with corporates focusing on youth employment skill development and personal growth this started in 2017 with a mission to empower youth through overall employability training awareness programs leadership development and various motivational initiatives say youth this is the gentleman now let me take a quick moment to warmly welcome our chief guest mr sharma kanama members of the national management team of sos children's media jyoti lanka headed by our national director mr divakar atagale our corporate partners examabel dhl seven charter and other other corporate partners from nestle barista aia cic radisson and dialog there is a general we also like to welcome our major donors esteemed invitees from the media and most important the youth from all over sri lanka let me take a quick moment to tell you what the candle we have given you is supposed to symbolize for us it is what we hope you would use what is what we hope you would use it for to light up a light without further ado let's get into the lineup for the day and we are very excited to embark on this journey with all of you first up ladies and gentlemen raise yourselves for a cultural treat the puja dance by our own children of sos students with hs sri lanka this was choreographed by our very own youth bhatia chanakanta and this will be a beautiful symbol of the brightness youth can brings into the lives of the youth we aim to empower <coughs>
Sanitya, Amami Parinya Akashani Marangana, and Shanika Hansani from SOS Students with HS Sri Lanka. I think they deserve another round of beautiful Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have a child safeguarding video done by our own ambassador, Mr. Roshan Mahnam. This aims to give an insight into how to keep our children safe in these challenging times where child abuse cases are on the ever increase. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the video. Mebala ne alu ne kau da evilla inne kela. Adha cricket loke vire kulu Roshan Mahana Mahata tamai apy punchi alu anga bala ne evilla inne. Ting apy aibo one kela mama piligani mune da. Aibo one. Ting adha davase me mama evilla inne apy punchi alu anta punchi pani da kia na. Apy halal bala mune da mama mukad kia ne kela. Due pute adha manga ve. ओगोलांगे आरक्षा विनुएं पानी विद्यार्थ दिन न हरी अभी इससे लम्बा में सिंधु आहाले इम्मो को अतगान <laughs> आरक्षा <laughs> वाट विश्वास बंद तो मैं आया बिल्ली तेरू ना आधे हरी मामा दें प्रश्न या कहाँ ना वाह और उहरी वो आगे ऐंगे में तें अतगान हरी अल्लान हरी आवो वो यहाँ मुकुद कराने दो क्या अन्न को बलंद इस सेल्ला में पाकी है ला इतना इन दो वाला की ला विश्वास बंद तो वैदी टीएन तो किया ना वाह वेरी गुड दें दो वाला सेलिब्रेशन Thank you and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and valued participants. A heartfelt greeting to each and every one of you as we welcome together for the significant moment of uh, Youth Can. When you say Youth Can, some people think what is this? Youth Can. That's mean Youth Can. Relaunch for 2023. Your presence today truly uh, enriches the atmosphere, and we extend our appreciation for your role in contributing the remarkable success in Youth Can. First and foremost, let us express our deep gratitude to our distinguished chief guest, Desha Bandhu, Prashant Mahanama, a cricketer turned into a person who wants to give to children into charity. Of course, today you would have seen him getting into acting as well. You would have seen Doctor Fisting. So slowly and steadily, he's getting into that. His shoes is fitting into that as well. Thank you, Roshan, for your presence and always being supportive for SOS, being the ambassador. 
and I am so privileged to be with you and travel all over Sri Lanka to do so much of work for underprivileged children and families. If I am not mistaken, we would have traveled more than 15 to 20,000 kilometers this year all over Sri Lanka, up and down, from Jaffna to Goa. So let's keep the thing going, and I'm thank thankful on behalf of the organization for you being a support supporter for SOS as well. A warm welcome is also extended to our esteemed corporate uh, collaborators, including Axel Nobel, DHL, Standard Chartered, and Radisson. Actually, uh, these four organizations internationally with SOS children villages have sign agreements and we are working with them and one youth can product is given in your hand. A boy is a care lever, underwent a hard time after COVID and during the economic recession, started doing a small business, that's a business we have taken as a gift for you. Now he's doing pretty well with his wife and this is a tremendous achievement and all this was possible through youth care as well as we do reskilling for the youth so that they have they can start self employment the significant uh, support to our mission to empower youth through avenues such as employability skill development and personal growth is something that youth can also provides we also would like to acknowledge the organizations such as Standard Chartered Bank, Ballista, Dialogue, CIC, who also has played a major role with SOS to support the youth by giving employment or uh, giving donations for leadership programs where youth could be in the society without any issues and go back to the society and work uh, with dignity. A special acknowledgement to certain special donors, or I would call them major donors, who has been with SOS for a long time, Mr. Bian Milagi and Mr. Vajira uh, Vijay Surya, for gracing this uh, occasion. Thank you very much for coming. We also invited uh, one more, uh, Dr. Jayaratnam, but he is ill health, he has not come. But I would like to mention his name. They have been tremendous supporters of SOS for a long time. Thank you for genuine support and being, part, being here. To our esteemed media partners, we extend our gratitude for skillfully capturing the essence of youth care and broadcasting this message to a wider audience. You, uh, your valuable role in spreading awareness is deeply appreciated. Thank you very much for being here and also you have been supporting us from the start, not only in the youth care, even the word of SOS spread in media. Thank you and please do support us in future too. As we embark this noteworthy evening, let us collectively embrace, embrace the carry forward to enhance the youth can, united in shared vision to brighter future. I extend my wishes and for pleasant uh, reminder for in the evening for each of you, you may join hands with us to do this youth can. This is the first time, not only SOS youth, we want to go and support the community because there are enough youth who need support. As soon as Rushan sat seated next to me, he said, can you help a youth in ICT uh, coming from a rural place? Can we do a scholarship? Without any hesitation, I said yes, and this we could do it, uh, do it through our vocational training center for your information exactly about two or three weeks ago our vocational training center in Monragala was awarded ISO 21,018, which was one of the major achievements in Sri Lanka, except VTA, only SOS vocational training has this ISO. Awarding not only ISO, they also have got the four star of the hotel of five star, four star in VT, VTA, so that the boys coming out of, boys and girls coming out of the vocational training centers have NVP level 3 and 4. I must thank Barista always supports us. He has already one or two employees and today also he spoke to me to get more and more employees from this. It is not only SOS. We also support the underprivileged youth among the community so that they have a proper, proper job, proper skill and they get a proper salary. Finally, I would like to request 
each and every corporate join hands with SOS to continue this youth camp on this relaunch. And I will also uh, wish you all the best and have a good day and a pleasant day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Diva, for setting the tone for an evening of significance and purpose. Zeno. Continuing the momentum, ladies and gentlemen, may I now please invite Mr. Anjay Pereira, the Director of Programs at the Students Village of Sri Lanka, who will share insights into the success of UK. Yes, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and welcome again to the uh, relaunch of Youth Can project. So you may be wondering, like, let's say, what we have done as an organization with your support. And we, you may have, you may be wondering, like, as new corporates, new partners, what you can do to support SOS Children's Villages. When we say SOS Children's Villages, the prime focus of Youth Can is to support young people who are leaving care. Young people, children, they are coming to alternative care. In Sinhalese, we call Vikal Parakwarane for reasons that they can't control. They lost the parental care and they are destined to end up in alternative care. It's not their fault. The thing is, coming into this kind of uh, uh, service setups, the challenge is when they are going out or graduating from alternative care facilities or, or programs, they are needing skills. For us, we have our parents, we have our good backgrounds maybe, we have our support systems, so we go out, we find jobs, likewise. Just imagine you don't have anyone. You lost your parents. You lost your family support. You have only you. And going out. You don't have any money, a place to stay. Then what will happen to you? This is the question. So through SOS, alternative care, we call it Youth Can. We are getting your support to, uh, the, 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 to support the young people to have uh, skills which are marketable so they can find a job, they can get guidance, they can get exposures, they can get mentoring throughout your support. So if I were to move forward, we started this in all, whole initiative in 2017 globally and we had a nice event inviting most of you, maybe four or five are present here, that's really good, right? And this is to, the, the intention is to get the support of corporates to focus on the, uh, let's say, young people and to get some sort of a support in the aspect of preventing youth unemployability. This is going to be a major issue in Sri Lanka in the next up upcoming years because we went through COVID-19, we went through economic crisis. So young people are searching for jobs. So we are trying to get advantage for young people coming out from uh, alternative care to have better skills and competencies. So this is a global partnership, as Ms. Devaka was mentioning, and this is to support disadvantaged young people. And this is a transition, so we call it transition, that means young people are going to society, so they were living in alternative care, going to society. So supporting transition, that is one of the major uh, aspects in making them independent. And when it comes to the support that we were receiving from you all, that is mobilizing employees. So we are seeing a lot of engagement programs. We were very closely working with Standard Charter, Exxonobel, DHL, Barista, likewise. Providing internships, providing exposures, youth involvement projects, mentoring, career guidance, likewise. Massive support. And uh, getting them into networks. I was talking to some of you, and uh, you were saying that, okay, one of your care, uh, your care leavers is working with us. And we have given uh, training for this kind of, this number of young people. This is what we need. So, in the aspect of youth can, it says it builds a strategic partnership between corporates, supporting partners, young people, and social children's villages. So, young people are sitting behind. So, you can interact with them as well. You can ask their dreams, inspirations, and all that. We are trying to collate everything together to form a better future for them. When it comes to the young people who, are, who have lost their parental care, or at the risk of losing parental care, they are the risk. Risk of losing parent care means that living coming out from a family with less resources. In Sinhalese, Sakhi, Dupat, Kamar, Ikhar, Hetuak, but Sampa, Kalwet, Unhaman. 
what happened to them is that they, they have very limited life options. So they are tend to lose a lot of things in life. So through this partnership, we want to build them careers, futures for them, employable skills, to become entrepreneurs as the person that the young caliber who has made these handles. Right. And, uh, and not just that, we believe that once you make these young people stronger, those young people will be contributing to the society, their own communities, and these communities will be flourishing as well. This is what we need, a chain reaction that we are start, going to start. So this is a sort of a broader picture, I just wanted to highlight some of the points, not to go through everything. We are seeing high youth unemployment, especially youth in alternative care, lacking networks, they are not having support systems. In Sri Lanka we have a lot of social support net networks, but we don't have corporate support systems. We need that. SOS care leavers aim to improve self-reliance rate from 60 to 90%. Self-reliance means so that opportunity is at somewhere at 60% because they are leaving care at the age of 80. Yes, they have skills, but they might need more support. So we are, what we are expecting from, especially from corporates, that is to contribute in different ways. For example, employee recruitment. If there's any skill for uh, young care leavers, that you come across, give opportunities for them. Employee engagement, that means your staff can engage as some of the corporates are doing at, uh, at this particular moment. Provide them motivation, saying that, okay, we are there for you. We have your, uh, we, we are holding your hands. And provide leadership and mentoring skills and development. So I will just go to one or two points here, especially this point, young people feel disconnected from the job market, job opportunities. They need mentorship, guidance, skills development and coaching, etc. to attain gainful employment and earn living equal to national benchmark. This is one of the crucial points as a takeaway that I am going to highlight. Others we can discuss later. About education, about uh, uh, long term and stable self-employment, yes, we can discuss later. But this is one of the points that I want to pitch now. How you can work, just to give you a sort of small glimpse. So we have young people from SOS, alternative care programs, different number of programs. So we are getting support from you to place them in employment, getting mentorship, giving them opportunities, at least talking to you, that will be brilliant. SOS children's villages will enter into partnerships with you. We will have action plans, we will have objectives, we will have, uh, we will have workable plans, resources likewise, to implement this. And again, partnerships come here, so we will have an extensive sort of work that we will be doing with you. And not just that, we are going to get the support from other stakeholders, young people, we have the GNG and Care Leavers Network. So all that are coming together for this particular movement. Just two objectives, strengthen employability of young people, and build a local and global network of corporate partners. This is what we need. I'll just go to the train and practice later. So, I would focus on here, the mentoring component, offering access to role models for young people. I think corporates like you are the mentors. These are the, 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 the essence of the country. So, inviting you to sort of, let's say, work with young people, Give us the support. I believe that the young people will feel very confident in accessing, accessing skills, going out to society, and maybe contributing as young people. So this is the these are the existing partners. They are here, so I'm really happy with that. So others very much welcome and invited for them for you to accept be a part of it. So thank you very much, Kanta. Thank you very much for the thing. So this is about my presentation. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jamdanajer, for sharing insights into the impactful journey of youth camp and exemplify why we need this relaunch. Is that it? That? Yes. To provide a deeper understanding of what youth camp is all about, we have an engaging presentation. It's an opportunity for everyone to connect with the core values and mission 
of this initiative. Let's have a look. In the heart of Sri Lanka, the Youth Can Initiative has been a beacon of hope since 2017, transforming the lives of countless young individuals who lack adequate parental care. Let's embark on a journey through time, exploring the impactful events and programs that have shaped the Youth Can narrative. From the vibrant cities to the serene landscapes, Youth Can events have left an indelible mark, reaching nearly 600 youth. This collective effort has become a testament to the power of community-driven change. The impact is not just in numbers. It is in the individual stories of progress and positive outcomes. Active engagement in our diverse range of events and programs has ignited a spark of transformation in the lives of our participants. Youth Can isn't just about skills, it's about transforming entire families. Inclusive training initiatives provide families with specific guidance, materials and tools, fostering a holistic approach to empowerment. Our events extend beyond skill development. They shape futures, career guidance programs infused with mentorship from experienced advisors guide participants toward meaningful and sustainable career paths. The Care Leavers Network is more than a support system. It's a thriving community. Through targeted activities, this network has become a symbol of resilience, fostering mutual support among its members. Since the inception of Youth Can in 2017 in Sri Lanka, numerous awareness programs have tackled key themes crucial to our goals. The impact of these programs echoes in the positive strides made by our participants, creating a ripple effect of change. As we stand on the precipice of a relaunch, Youth Can is poised to showcase past impacts and expand our reach. This relaunch is not just a celebration, it's an invitation for new partners to join us in empowering young people for employability. In times of crisis, we adapt. The relaunch seeks effective partner contributions, enhancing our ability to navigate challenges and emerge stronger than ever. Collaboration is at the core of Youth Can. The relaunch isn't just about us. It's about developing a stronger network among partners, fostering collective efforts for sustained positive outcomes. Our partnerships with corporate giants like DHL and Axon Nobel have been instrumental. From reflective learning programs to volunteer initiatives, these collaborations have played a crucial role in empowering youth. Technical initiatives supported by Standard Chartered have been a game changer. Reskilling Kiali was addressing the challenge of continuous unemployment and providing machinery for sustainable income showcase the depth of our impact. Now, let's delve into the inspiring success stories that epitomize the spirit of Youth Can. Pushpalata Lakmali, a product of SOS Children's Villages Sri Lanka, found her passion in the hospitality sector through DHL's mentoring program. Today, at 23, she thrives as a serving staff at Cinnamon Lakeside Hotel, chartering her course for a promising career. On the other hand, we have Periyasami Mahendra, amidst pandemic challenges, who discovered a new path through on-the-job training with Axonobel Paints. Now a permanent employee, a painter, and additionally, he manages a successful subcontracting business with dual income streams, showcasing the power of resilience and skill. As we celebrate our journey, we invite you to join the Youth Can Movement. Together, let's create a world where every young person has the skills and support needed to carve their own path to success. Because when we empower the youth, we empower the future. For if there is anyone who certainly can, it's the youth that can.
for this is Youth Can. Ladies and gentlemen, that was about bringing Youth Can to life through visuals and storytelling. Say no. Thank you, Sachita. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next up, we'd like to acknowledge what we call the heartbeat of Youth Can, our corporate partners. Let us now hear a pass from one of our corporate partners shedding light on their experiences and the impactful collaboration with Association as Villagers. May I now please invite on stage Ms. Fira Hausman, Business Performance Manager of DHL, to deliver her speech. So, good evening everyone. Um, I'm going to try to avoid using the podium because I'd like to see all of you. So, good evening. How are we doing today? Hi. Wonderful. Nice to hear. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Firha. I am representing DHL Sri Lanka today. Um, so for us, we, I have our team here. So just to start off, uh, if I remember, uh, we started our partnership with SOS uh, Children Village in 2018. Um, so I think we have gone through all six villages. We uh, rolled out our program starting from 2018. And uh, we rolled out our program uh, at the last village, that is Jaffna, I think in October. November. Okay, so just to tell you about how we started off. Now, in 2018, when we, uh, we signed off the partnership, uh, we visited SOS Piriandala. And then we had this brainstorming session because we really wanted to understand uh, what these youth really want. Uh, but we had one thing in mind when we uh, visited uh, you know, the village back then. We really wanted to ensure that we find a way, we find different ways on how we can increase employability of this youth. Uh, so what we did that back then is we had a brainstorming session. Uh, we uh, uh, like invited a cross-section of stakeholders from DHL and also as well Children's Village to understand what these youth want. And depending on the feedback we got, the responses we got, we developed a customized program. Now in this customized program, um, we had different things. We wanted to ensure we uh, give the knowledge of how they can become more employable, how to look for jobs, how to face an interview. And also we include, incorporated soft skills so that they um, you know, know how to groom themselves, dress up in a smart way, face interviews. Now for us, it was not just um, you know, coming up with these plans. Um, so when we formulated our programs, we looked at external training providers. However, we also got our hands, like we got our hands dirty, so to speak. We got involved. We put in uh, the knowledge we had, and we got involved in some of these programs. Um, so, I mean, talking from a personal experience, uh, uh, now I remember Zain was saying, uh, when the dance item came up, he said, um, he looked at the audience, and he said, uh, you are lighting up the lives of these youths. Now, what happens when we have these programs is, at the end of it, we ask them to come up with a creative piece. So what these youth are supposed to do is, they're supposed to come up with a creative piece, uh, where it may be a so song or a poem or a dance, and they need to sort of demonstrate to us what they learned. Now, these, some, of, some of these youth come up with the most creative things. Um, they talk about what they've learned, the content, but in addition, some of them also express how grateful they are. You know, they, they, they appreciate it, the things, the sights and sounds that we let them experience because we ensure that uh, we come up with creative venues and you know, the information uh, that we share with them. So that gratefulness always makes me emotional. Okay, so where was I? So I was talking about how they come up with creative ways to express what they have learned. But also they talk and appreciate, they express gratefulness about what we are sharing with them. So I'd like to leave with this. Now, Zainos looked at the audience and said, um, we are the ones who are lighting up their lives. But indeed, with this experience, it's this youth and what they give back ends up lighting our lives. So. Corporate partners already working with uh, SOS, wonderful, and I hope you keep it up. I think that's also something that we have in our agenda to perhaps continue this wonderful partnership. And I also urge any potential corporate partners here, this is a wonderful experience. 
personally too as well. And remember, with all of these projects, we are supporting Sri Lanka's future. So I urge all of you to get involved in this wonderful experience and support Children's Village going forward. Thank you so much. Wonderful speech. And recognizing the power of partnership and the need to groom the youth for positive change. Sajita? Yes. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the privilege of hearing from our chief guest, Deshapandu, Mr. Roshan Mahanama, the legendary Sri Lankan cricketer, who is also a celebrated ICC Elite Panel Match Referee, and world champion cricketer, who is also our most beloved, esteemed ambassador of SOS Children's Villages, Sri Lanka. His speech will undoubtedly inspire and motivate us all. Let me have your speech. A very good evening to all of you. Mr. Ratnadure Dibaka, National Director, SOS Children's Villages, other members of SOS, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I was told by Gayanthi yesterday that I will have to deliver a speech. First, when Dibaka and myself were on our various trips around the country in the last one year or so, one of the days he said that I have to keep the 7th of December free for an SS SOS event, which I did happily, but I never thought that I'll have to deliver a speech. Although he told me that he will allocate five minutes, I realized that looking at the audience, my speech will be longer than five minutes, so you might have to bear with me for that. I told my hero, my mentor, my father, whom I lost about seven years ago, that I don't mind standing in front of 100,000 people like what we did in the 96 World Cup semi-finals and wield in the willow. But when I have to address a gathering, I said, I'm very uncomfortable. And he said, son, sometimes that's your obligation. You can use the following phrase and start any speech. So as a tribute to him, I have decided to do so by using this phrase. I'm more at ease at the crease than saying my piece on occasions like these. <laughs> there are quite a, a lot of eminent personalities who do social service. I just thought I will speak about some of the things that I do. I thought that's the best way rather than talking about other people. People who spoke before me elaborated on some of their experiences, people from SOS elaborated on the work that they do, but I can talk about what I have done, where I come from, and why I have got involved in serving the less privileged of this, people of this country. I must state that I was fortunate enough to, be, to have been brought up in an environment to show my support towards the less privileged people of our country. I function as the brand ambassador of about eight charities. I function as a trustee of three of the, char uh, three of the charities. And through these charities, we have visited more than 25 remote villages of this country. Out of that, most of my travel throughout the country have been with my dear friend Divaka doing work with SOS and also making sure that the lives of underprivileged children are comfortable. Yes, they are focusing their work, the tireless efforts uh, will one day pay off and these children need their support. Not only they have been there in terms of helping the youth, but the kids as well in terms of giving them education material and also giving dry rations and so on and so forth. Diva, I think we can proudly say that we've covered the country, you said about 20,000 or close to 15 or 20,000 miles not a lot of the leaders of this country can say that. 
yes, you have told me to leave them aside and to do our what we are supposed to do, but I just thought it was important for me to place on record because I think it's our, it's our responsibility to be seen, to be there for these, these young children. In October last year, I decided to set up my trust purely because I just thought that we should not wait for governments or local bodies to initiate projects and to continue work. Years after the Easter bombings, I am one of them who visited all three churches through Hema's Outreach Foundation. We did a project at the Katua Pitya Hospital uh, Church. We also visited the Zion Church and through the Vijay Rao Family Foundation where I am a brand ambassador, we still support some of the children who were affected through the bombings. During COVID, quite a lot of people decided to stay indoors. I was on my feet with a group of doctors, visited some places in Colombo by providing dry rations and trying to keep the daily wage, urgent, daily wage earners comfortable. Yes, took the risk where I have two grandkids. I'm going a step further than a lot of people who are of my age, but I just thought that we need to do that and we did that together with a group of doctors and my, and my dear friend Chamin Davas. Also, I would like to state that when the tsunami hit in 2004, quite a lot of people decided to go down south, whereas my father and I, together with a group of evident people, we set up a trust and we decided to go to Kalavanchikude and went around to some of the other places in the country to show our support to the people. So most people might think that this is something that I've started in the recent past with ulterior motive. Sorry to say, I have no ulterior motive. I'm not going to contest the election. I know if I contest, I will win, but that's not where I want to go. That's not my path. But my aim is to try and leave a better place for the younger generation of this country. Through the Roshan Mahanama Trust, like I mentioned, it was set up on the 4th of October last year. SOS helped me with the launch. This was at a time that we didn't have funds, but yes, Diva, thank you so much for giving us a lending hand and we've come a long way. We've done 43 projects. Our key focus of our trust is the children because I feel being involved in different charitable organizations People who would suffer at the end of the day are the children. I'm involved with Sri Lanka's Kidney Patient Society. I'm involved with Sri Lanka's Stroke Association. Mituro Mituro is Prevention of Addiction, SOS, Indira Cancer Trust, and so on and so forth. So, through the trust, we decided that we have to focus on children and giving them a helping hand. Key focus areas, we have three pillars. One pillar is kids with disability. I'm a trustee of Sri Lanka's first center of excellence for kids with disability that's attached to the faculty of medicine in Ragama. If you know parents who've got disabled children, please direct them, this, direct them to this center as early detection is very important for the child's growth. I'm also involved in Sri Lanka's first pediatric palliative care center where I'm a trustee. We opened that on the 29th of June this year. Why I say about some of these projects is to show that yes, we have made these projects a reality, reality but it's important for us to sustain and run and through my trust, we have decided to raise funds to try and support these other organizations that I work with. Also through my trust, we will be building Sri Lanka's second center for children who have been sexually and physically abused. That's a curse. We saw the video, I appeared free of charge. I didn't want to charge because we need to spread this message across. Technically, we should have nine, one in each of the provinces. Sadly, we have only one and that's also attached to the faculty of medicine in 
uh, Ragama. So we will be laying the foundation stone for the second center on the 4th of January. I have already raised funds to, to, to build, build that center. Hopefully if I can make it a reality, I think I might have some support to build some centers in other parts of the country as well. We do have another section called emergency intervention. Through that, we support school children by giving them school items, help families if they are in need of dry rations, so on and so forth. So that comes under the emergency intervention part. I have always made time for charity projects supporting the less privileged people of my motherland, irrespective of their race, religion or background. Like I mentioned before, I think it's our responsibility to be there to show our support to these children. I also told Divaka when I sat here today, this is something that I have been trying to drive through some of the leaders of this country. I have been very vocal. I think the corporate sector is equally responsible for the state that our country is in right now like the public se sector. I think we need to try and walk the talk. We need to drive this message through the kids. And I told Divaka, through his six villages, they do have some uh, preschools in some of those villages. Talk to the young parents and tell them about the importance of honesty, integrity, values, and that's something that we lack in the country. And I ask the media to be responsible and let's try and get this message to try and build a country as we will not get a country like this. Compared to a lot of my friends who've uh, got a foot outside the country, I decided to stay here and do my best for the less privileged people of our country. Where a lot of people would devote their time to monetize for their own benefit, I have decided that I will do whatever little I can to be of service to the less privileged people of our country. Finally, I would like to thank Divaka, Gayantha and his team for giving me this opportunity to be here today and also for inviting me as the chief guest for, our, for, this, for this event. Please join me in being a part of the SOS family to support the Youth Can initiative. People spoke about the importance of the Youth Can project and give them all the support. Without your support, it will be very difficult for them to move forward. I personally believe that supporting youth can solve many problems in this country. In conclusion, I wish to leave behind a profound thought. Together, we can make a difference. May all of you be blessed. Teruan Saranai. Thank you, Mr. Mahanama. That was about hearing insightful words from a distinguished guest. Sir, sir. What an honor it is to hear from you, Sir Shah Mahanama, each time. <coughs> Except, ladies and gentlemen, a member of Generation Never Give Up Network, the first ever Care Leavers Network in South Asia, and a care leader of SOS Children's Village of Sri Lanka will share the benefits of Youth Camp as a testament to the positive impact this initiative has in the lives of the youth itself. First up, may I please invite Mr. Danushka on the podium to deliver his speech. Hi, Bhuvan. Sudha Sandhya Vapheva Vasiyam Dinatama. Apitabe Jeevite Arguna Karayanata Kaurunho Paspasing Indalina. Itinne Jeevite Arguna Karayanata Harum Lakshya Dibna. It is Magi Harum Lakshya. It is Islam Agamani. Ma Satinga Bu Mama Adame Vidyata Ayatane Chiva Tila Hedila Vedila Obe Sarha Katakaran Leta. I will anything. Ma Katakaran Rabala Bodo Twinne Generation Never Give Up Network Kigger. Generation Never Give Up Network Kigger Neta Mikisida At Noharina Parapur Jalea Aramba Vinne. Mitaudu, Haikati Hedadi. E. Didasta Hati Batramulla, Vodasdish, 
होटल तो आरेश फेर दी निम्मू इरेशा आकाश शाशी कलायन मगे आदर नहीं है सहूद रियान के मोली का तेंद तमाई में जाले इधर आरंभ हुए नहीं जाले आरंभ हुए बटन में अभी तक अभी हो गया कुना ऐम क्यों होत मानने वाला दी ऐसे इस समाधान मान संविधान ने मोली का तेंद में जाले आरंभ हुए बाबर उबट सातुरिंग प्रकाश करने के मांग के नदी रकबार ने अंतरिन्न ऐमत नेतम उबे मगे भाषा विन के होत लमा निवास तुलिं एलियट यादा तारुन तारुनियां ऐमत नेतम समाज गतवर में तारुन तारुनियां पिली बात है पासुरी परवाह कराने जा अपर अट तुले किसी तो क्रम भेज दिया सहा ऐ संधा आयतने अपने में तिबाग खाने जा पीन वध प्रकाश कराने के क्या नदी ऐ दत धीमाई वर्तमान ऐ धीमाई ऐ निशात तमाई 18 प्लस की है ना संकल्प या तेक्क आधे दिन में युद्ध के न वैध सत्ताहन संधा साबा के विषय दिन है इस वेस आयतने हाथावत आयतन गणना वक्क केक अब के जीन जीन जाले आरंभ है सिद्धवान ने यही वाटी ना कम है पशु के आउट की ही पे आप इतना जाके निकल बुना मां सभा बजे दिन बात पे ने दस धाना में वर्षी एक आलय तुलत इट पेरा वासना देखा तुलत दीत अभी श्रीलंका राज्यत राज्य विविध पार्श्वयं रसक के का में रैकवारण अथर्व तारण प्रजाओगी रैकवारणे अथर्वी में क्रियावलीन पशु ओंगे आवश्यकता में बिली बंद हुए बैनवत के लिए मुसीदु करने लग गया समाहर कारण सार्थ को अध समाहर कारण आवल दी ये वा असार्थ को न बाबर किया न टिके मजी बैनट का प्रजाली सामाजिक सामाजिक आवन हारसी पनाह कट वैनी बिरसा सामाजिक सेलबा ऐसी बाबर संधान करना रैकवार ने अथर्व नो लबन तारुन तारुनियां हट अभियोगात मत कोविड दशांगते सह प्राते आर्थ के खड़ा व्यक्ति में सिद्ध होना महत्व है दी ये महत्व ओल में निवेश नगी ही टीन नटर अभी टर है कि आवल गुना ये विविध अनुग्रह का बहुत उनके नगुनो आधार हा उपकार का मतलब अभी ओल टा अवश्य मूल्य में दायक आते हैं नवाते इन पहसु कम सह नवाते इन गहस्तु सह व्यवहारिक � एक आठ युद्ध सार तक बस अब एक हंडा है मटर ये तो कराने टेह की आवक ले बुना ऐसे में जाले संधा संबंधी कारण के निक सह कार्यालय का आवश्यकता वे एवं ने बिठा पटा बेहेवीन में उमन आवेलाती बुना इतने में वेनु में ना बिठा ब्राइट पार फाउंडेशन नायस ने कार्यालय उपकरण सह संबंधी कारण के बैठक इतन एवेन एवेन कार्य आले आप इटन इस सोए सायतने आप इटन लगा देने नटन काटे तो सिद्ध करा ये वाके मत आए मैं अनुग्रह तत्त्व माता आप इटन संबंधी कार्य का तानु थ्रे रखे आवत रैकवार ने अध्यर को ये आदरणीय थारुनीय कटला लगा देने नटन तब तक अवस्था आप कर गाता वर्तमान या भजाले विषय जाले सामाजिक ये वाके में आसन वाशे समाज का तभी मटर बालापुरुष ट्विन सिटी ना लमानी वास का तो दारुवन संधा अभी प्रेरण में वैसे तो हम अभी सिद्ध करने लगने वाले में वैसे तो हम तुले ना भी उनके गेटलो अभी योग सह जीवित तमान के आरोपन का राला दावे निकोहमत के नकार ना हो अपे जीवित वाली ये अपे जीवित ल गाल मनोरागल बिबिल बादुल बांडार वेले सहा महानुभव यान डिस्ट्रिक्ट वेले मैं अभी प्रेरण वेले सरहान अभी क्रियात्मक करा अवसर तवत एवेनी अभी प्रेरण वेले सरहान ना बिचे क्रियात्मक कराने टे तिबनवा मैं काटियो तो सहा वर्तमानी संबंधिकार वरिक संबंधिकार के वरीय संधा गेविम सिद्धुवाने इस � पासों के काले अनेकों त्राटे वाले दिवे ना मैं वैनी जाले यंत्र समग्र एक पकाटी तो किरीम सिद्ध करने लगा हूँ अंतर जाले यहाँ रहा उन समग्र एक पे भी मासिक सेसी इमर आटा वाले वाले रैकवार ने अथर इन्ना मोहन दिन गेट लो उनके आवश्यकता वैन संधा इमर आटा वाले वाले राज्यन उन्हें अनुप्रा� 
Nepali Pavati, Baikan Samul or the Maituru, Samajikin, Atadinuke Kandai, Maksabagu and the Taki Aurabuna. A. Vivida Anugraha Bautungi, Dai Katinitin, Matakarana Tony, Saro the Aitania, Asila Mahatmi, Eva Game of Bright Path Foundation, Eva Game of Suicide and Ilabadu Nanugraha and Tamayapi, May Vedasa Hanate, Sahabagu in the Tatari to Kare. Eva Game of Tamai, Generation Never Give of Jali, Ape Aramuna Tamai. विकल्प हा निवासी कर रहेगा वरुण ने इन समुदाना तारुन तारुनियान सभी बालगानों में किसी दा अपनोहरी ने दिल्ली पर पूरा बिहिकरी माये ये वाके बता माये अपे मेकाटी उत्तेवन में इन अपे मेहवर बुद्धि बिना राज्य हा राज्य नवना आयतन वगल सहयोगी तावे समाज आसादारण कम हम हुए आयतन गतवी no, we can't recover in Samugana, Taruna Taruni and Hatter, Swadina, Arakshakari, Niveredi, Pitigani men, Yutu, Samaj Vatina Tama, Gooden and Vima, Ape Mehavarating, May Jale, Aram Bavilla, May Vinakota Api, Puravasar, Hayam Katakarna team, Api Godenaki Chatani, Api Hatunutani, Tavat Pirisakata, Godean Natamargia, Salasa Dinner Tamai, Api Ape Aramanitin, a Venuin Tamai, Api Visima. Nagi hit in the recovery of 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 the Apit Nagisina, Ma Adre Nutua, Adre Magi, Ma, the Hito Tunda Radanakarno, Api Metan Patan, Rakata Kiemu, Locate Kiemu, maybe the Badal, Hebe, Havadava Katakaran Nati Kata, Nokarana Matrukava Kapi, Ada Patan Katakaran, Patangamu, maybe the Badal, Apita Katakaran, Avasha, Iti Jale Karam Bakarla, Ejale Budanaga Vinanti, Etamai Jale, Pasukarama. Obasidra Dabadina, Daika Tinisatamai, Ape Jalia, with theatre, it didn't recommend anything. Esso is I tell it about Tavakma, behaving Miss Sutan Terma, Anugraha Botun, Metua Kali, Evat Vartamani, Anugraha Dakana, other near Sildenati Sutuantanate, other near but Adavasi Suti, Abat Samaga, Athel and the Ganata, Ara than Akarabi, behaving Miss Sutuantan, the Davasi, Jalia Vinway, Jale Sabaha Tivaria Vidyata, Mata, the Avastal, Labadun, and Stuti. ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ uh, as well as children's villages provide. As someone who has personally experienced the love and care of exoyas, I can certify the positive impact it has on the lives of children who have lost parental care. So I would like to start my speech with my life. My life almost start with an SOS. I grew up with the SOS children's village Montragala. I was taken by the SOS family and my SOS mother. Um, when I was just a month old baby. Um, and let me tell you, um, I grew up in the most amazing and beautiful environment you can imagine. I had a loving family with many older brothers and sisters um, who always look out for me. Even today, if someone were to ask me what the best time of your life was, exactly I would say it was my childhood. I hope you all have similarly fond memories of your childhood, but for me, my childhood was a constant source of my nostalgia. So, since my childhood, I have always been eager to learn and gain knowledge um, from every experience I encounter. I could pass the uh, scholarship exam with excellent marks, and after that, I passed my all level um, with best results. These achievements motivated me to continue my education, so I enrolled in Bandarun Central College to do my A-levels. 
I did my LMS um, in BioStream uh, to become a doctor. However, my path took a different turn uh, and I failed my LL exam twice. Uh, looking back, I believe that this was a significant turning point of my life uh, because it made me realize that the way I wanted to move forward different and I needed to explore uh, more other options. Um, I'm grateful for these experiences because it taught me that failure is not the end but rather an opportunity to learn and grow. It has made me the person I am today and I am excited to continue learning and growing more. Um, at the end of it all, right now I am a bachelor hall in psychology, I am studying at ICBT. Uh, so that's the fact I am happy with the subject I am studying now that I can expand my knowledge and go far without stopping rather than becoming a doctor. Uh, after that, I had a chance to do an internship at the SOS National Youth Care Department. Uh, while I was doing the internship, and that's when I found out about youth care. Uh, let me tell you, it's been a game changer for me personally. Thanks to youth care, uh, I've been able to discover lots of super helpful programs that have made a real difference in my life, both personally and professionally. I mean, it's been a real blessing to um, be a part of this Youth Can project. And let me tell you about this program. I got to be a part of, part of through the Youth Can, the Gotich initiative organized by DHL. It was seriously one of the most valuable experience I ever had. And I even got to represent Asia in a conversation with CEO of DHL International. I also got to lead a project in Sri Lanka, which was another project conducted by Youth Camp. As a youth leader, I was able to organize a mental health awareness program with SOS support. We were able to reach over 200 children, care leavers, uh, mothers in SOS children villages. It was such a great experience and I felt super lucky to be a part of it. We were able to provide the participants uh, with valuable information and resources on how to maintain good mental health and the whole thing was huge success. Overall, it's just been an incredible journey and I'm so grateful to have had the chance to make positive impact through the Youth Can project uh, for our SOS children. I look forward to engaging with the Youth Can project more and helping our children worldwide. I'm sure that this Youth Can project will be a game changer for a future generation of SOS. It's going to give them so much more than just a precious time because they are going to gain incredible, incredible experiences that will shape their lives forever. So trust me, I know firsthand how life changes this Youth Can project. Youth Can has the power to transform lives and I'm so grateful to be a part of it again. So before I did my speech, I would like to say this. All of you who have come here today are doing a great thing. The reason I say because you may have heard that we give 10% of wealth we earn. I think the fact is true because if we give 10% of the wealth we earn to something good, this is proven fact that Giving back makes us rich in every sense. So give back and because of what you give with your joy, some hidden human lives will be brought to light. And a lot of us that want to see more of the universe to start see the stars. So thank you all for your contribution and I look forward to joining you on this journey someday. Universe, stars, and collaboration. Ladies and gentlemen, such that. Yes, the excitement doesn't end there. We have a media Q&A session where you, our esteemed guests, will have the chance to engage and delve deeper into the roots of Youth Camp program. The panel will be moderated by our director, Head of Fund Development and Communications of SOS Children's Villages, Sri Lanka, Mr. Gant Dalpadadu. May we now have you on stage, sir? Following that, may we now invite the panelists on stage, please?
Our, our, our chief guest this evening, Mr. Roshan Mahanama, our national director, Mr. Divakara Kundure, our programs director, Mr. Dahanshe Pereira, and representing Generation Never Give Up Network, Ms. Iresha Dilfani. Mr. Gantha, the stage is all yours. Good evening to everyone. Probably you might be thinking why I shifted the seats. That's because I just wanted to tell you that how we protect the youth. She's in the middle. Okay, so hope you all are having a wonderful day. So it's the Q&A's. Okay, so I have a couple of questions before we move on to the media. It's from a leader. I have to ask the first question from you. Mr. Devaka, I see a lot of corporates are here today and a lot of partners who have been supporting the youth camp. Can I ask one question? Why we have invited our other corporates as well who have been there with SOS? Why we invited them specifically? Only thing you didn't give me the questions in advance. <laughs> Let me before answer your question, I was a little bit emotionally moved when Bhagya spoke. I know this young lady when she was just one month old baby. I've seen hanging around in my finger when I go to Monragala. I was working in Monragala for some time and how close she was to me and she is close to me even today. Really, it was emotional because this is what SOS has brought out. Thank you, Bhagya, for coming out from the bottom of your heart. And she's a girl who got a scholarship for six million rupees free of charge. And uh, I want to thank ICBD for coming up and giving this scholarship. And very soon, SOS will have our own psychologist. So that's, a, that's something amazing. Coming back to you, uh, Gayantha, you see what Bhagya spoke, what Danushka spoke, of course my young lady who is a business entrepreneur coming from Anuradhapur, SOS Children's Village. This is a, these are the products that we have brought out. So that's why we have invited so many other uh, corporates to join hands, not only from SOS, as I told in my speech. There are enough young people in the society we should help. And that's what all about this service does. And we will do that and we'll continue to do that. So that's why we have invited a lot of other corporates so that they can also join hands and we can go forward and support the young ones who can be real productive citizens of this country at a time where brain drain is going on. Everyone knows when they get an opportunity, they will move out. So we want to see that not only the children in SOS, but in the community also gets a good opportunity to get training, leadership, uh, working experience, so that they'll be part of this community and serve the community. That was the reason. Thank you, Mr. Devarkar, for very Thank you. So, uh, it's about um, the unemployed. So, what do you actually think about uh, youth unemployment? and uh, how we can support it as I think uh, young minds keeping young people unemployed, unemployed or idling is not a good thing. I know SOS and a lot of other organizations, this is something that have been told by so many to me as well. We should not be giving things free, but we need to make sure that we get these youth occupied. It's very important when they're young, otherwise they can get into so many other things. I'm involved with Mithro, um, which is prevention of addiction. And I know um, when the youth is idling, they can get into so many unwanted things and I think we all have a responsibility to get them occupied by saying that it is up to the adults, friends to guide them even during COVID, the difficult period, economic crisis, um, you need to use it to your advantage and I think that's something that we need to get it across to the youth as well. I'll use my eldest daughter as 
as um, as an example, um, she started a business during COVID, and it's a business that picked up for. All you ladies and gentlemen, she's got a desert business, which she started, uh, no one knows that she's my daughter, but um, she started off by having a small outlet, but she opened one at uh, Havelock City Mall as well. It's it's how you drive people to get involved, and I think, um, yes, Diva, I told about the importance of honesty, integrity, values, and driving these messages across. We should not wait for other people to do it wherever possible, through your villages, through the corporates. We need to drive because look at some of the banks, they do have branches um, in so many locations. If we can get them to drive, get them uh, to get the youth to be occupied, encourage them, I think that's quite important. It's not good to keep them idling because uh, as a country, we are not going to progress if that is the case. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Well, I'll come to Karanjay. Um, Mr. Karanjay, uh, now, as you know, we have started this uh, youth camp since 2017. Why suddenly we wanted to have a relaunch? Yes, uh, Gantha, like, uh, it's a very good question. The thing is that uh, we are seeing that there are ch the changes in the needs of young people. We talk about uh, unemployability, we talk about different requirements. And the country has gone through a number of changes in the context. So the main purpose of having this relaunch is to, one the first thing is to appreciate the, the corporates that supported us throughout this time. Through all the hardships, they never give up on the young people, they kept on supporting us. That's the first thing. Second thing is invite a new corporate to be a part of it. If you want to see a change, I think it's collaboration that works well. So that's why we are, we are focusing on throughout this relaunch process, next few months will be crucial for us to, like I say, get new partnerships, get new agreements, get new uh, uh, work to be done. So, impactful partnerships will be the key. So that's why we are having this relaunch. Thank you, Tamji. So that's the invitation for the corporates out there. Who's willing to be a partner with this OS? It can be any CSR event or any CRM event. You may reach us and probably we can work together uh, in order to make sure the children are safe and we work for their future. Having said that, I'm moving to Iresha. 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 King, Uberta, Lepuna, Kandare, Mandano Adabuda, Deva, Pianoki, and Lanka, Ethel, Peter, Neme, Peter, Jaganabu, the Thank you, Uncle. Uh, good afternoon. I was talking to some the Yukla <laughs> Bikalpa Rakavarane Harakir, Tarun Tarunan Gichale, Aram with the Samajika Vidhiata, Padakarana. I think good luck, Loku support a car case, so it's like a Haraha, Matalabuna, Vishishimaki and Noli, Mama Vyapara Patangan. May feel they get an ill, Mama, then a graphic design, a professional graphic design can equate the Vadakarana. Uh, international like a wagi malanka we could have kaya thinisam ka bade karna thing ito kote make a magi ethra magi thibe dream make up magi punchi kaya mada teere ne kaya ne thala magi thibe make a dream make graphic design ekhe ne ekhe ne ekhe mama ekhe ne hita na kote design ekhe ne 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 ekh
मटर लोगों आवस्था वा काम बुना कुछ काल इंदला परिगणित के फाइल में परिगणित के शेष पे गुनाह दूर इके नगाने तो मैं हम ने देव मटर हम बोलूं ने ऐसो ऐसे कहा रहा है तो ये वेल कोटे मगे पासा जीविते मग नात्र मग नात्र कराने था रा एडिटवेला हिटिया कंप्यूटर्स वर्ल्ड मैं परिगणित के शेष पे ग्राफिक डिजाइन के � Mungkin tane, mungkin yang kedua, mungkin yang mana, mungkin semua orang aku main tu mata, mahu tiada ni kerana usaha sepenuh darah ni tu, mungkin ini jiwa tu, sah tak kau, mama yang ane pati ke istirahat dia ni. Jadi, logo ni tu, mungkin daksa tawa tu, mata yang kan di, la gula, mama dah nak mungkin gula kialu inna, saman ni bau lalu, ama inna, ama tata kia ni tu, thamai keran none. Lama itu je, lama yang kita dapat, ini dah nama gudang kahwin. Mungkin tu dengan tiada tarik kahwin itu, sahami, samaji, atau bidihat tek gudang parents la, yang mukaran ni, adi apa ni itu bintara. Habis mama sahaja tu yang nama, mager mama mager demam api orang, mata was tawa hamuna, mager kena itu je, mager daksi tawa itu, mata kena itu dia kerana, mungkin tu pala beri mama kosa ke kerana ni lalu kotor, mata orang tu dah sihat. Malah mama ini pun mana trainingnya kan ke, ekam kan mana rasa awak kerana kemangi kena guna ni. Aku tu dah sesuatu rasa kerana tanah. Tinggal tu kotor, ekam mama ni yang mana old mai kira, dan hanya muda ni angkal ni tu mesti mana. Orang loko awas tawa kelabu tu, ni angkal ni mana alu ekam tanah kan. Pudah awak ini kena guna kemangi, mereka kerana. Kita luar ni yang kena. Kita kotor pale ni mana kos ini kerana, mana awas tawa tu mana, mana मूल्य आधार लाभ दूँ ना तो कुछ मामा एक अच्छा हरियाल ना मगे शेष्ट्री मामा वैरी करने ना मगे वायस आते का गुड़ाव पहली हिटियो तेक का आंकल पहली जो ना ओनर्स ला तेक का मामा क्लास किया है भाई मामा गोल मेडल का करने तारा दक्षिण उन्हा किए ना का मटे मामा विश्वास करना है तीन हम देव मटे हम बुने इस वजह से कहीं ना कि मेरे नो कोटे मगे आये तो नहीं का मामा वैरी करना सह लंका वित्तीय ना सीरो में सोए साये तो ना वाला मुद्रण खाटी तो वाला माँ सामान्य तो ना वैरी कर रहा ना तो एक बार लोग कुछ साथ जा मार्ट पुलाव में देते मार्ट पुलाव में परिमेय दे मागे मामा है दिच्छे तने वाले में मामा आधे लोग कुछ सेव या कर रहा ना ए वाके म पहुँची जून मासे पर तो ना एसओएस जनरल एसेंबली का इंस्प्रोग ऑस्ट्रेलिया वाले कि गुड़ाव का ये इंटरव्यू कर रहा ला रीजन ने कि मामा सिलेक्ट चुना आये कटे कि ए हरहा मचे लंका वे आपी गुड़ाव पहले करने में थर्मन थर्मनियाँ ने कि जाते अंतरे विविध राठवाल वाले विविध नेटवर्क्स सामग्� अपने ये मोबाइल्स वाले खातियाँ तो कुमार वैध कराना हम बोलना ही थी नहीं कि दी अपने लोगों आधे की मां क्लब वो लंका वे विकाल पर नाक बारे ना आए थे ना तुलन समाजिक तत्व में ना दारु वांटे सहा बिना थ्राटे वाला विकाल पर नाक बारे ना आए थे ना तुलन समाजिक तत्व में ना दारु वांट हर हम राज्य साह राज्य नवन आए थे न मैं दिहत चला खाटियों तो कराने थी मैं लोगों आधे की मां क्लब हुआ है वाके मां आधे तात अपने ऑनलाइन थाक्षण है हर हाँ मासिक रेस्ट्री फावात है न वह विविध वैरसी ठहरने वाले सामान दे वेना वह डीएचएल लेकर मैं मां देखा हूँ इतने आधे में सामान दे वेला है लबन मासे अभी डीएचएल अफ्रीका वाले लोगों प्रोग्राम में काम करने आना हुआ यूज़ लग देख के करते वेला एक आदत माम ऑनलाइन संबंध वेला ये को मटर लोगों साथ उठा मैं हम दे माँ अभी डे लबादी लबु ने ऐसो ऐसे का हरा हाँ ती गुड़ा कुस्तूदी एवा गेम ऐसो ऐसे का हरा हाँ सहा विकाल पर रखा वालों ने थोड़ी न इधरी परंपरा वो बनी हुई है यहाँ लट आरक्षित समाज या क गोदन आगान है सह स्वादीन वो यहाँ लट थीरने गाने सह यहाँ लगे शक्ति नगी सिंचने पुलवान वाटे पिटावा समाज या खादने के तमाय आपे महिवर सह दंत मन तीन ए बनी हुई है आरंभिक सामाजिक आवाज विधियों जन जाले आपे ने जीएनजी नेटवर्क के आपे हैमो म एक हर तावे इताम दिन इट कराने पुराने तरह मुच्छा करना है वाके में स्तुति अवस्था वाला बाद दुन्ना जा बड़ा क्या राय स्तुति ऐशा मगे तरने दानुष्क के इन पतंग रखता में बाग क्या के ऐशा के इन मगे तरने पता करे वाला तब ऐसी 
Asana negatif. Ahamna. Hatana dene kinnu. Ona ma prasne ahamna. Namut. Samahana bukin. Krikat gana ahamna iba. Very good. Ona ma prasne ahamna. Ini sa. Pegi tap mandele kinnu. Mang kita nak guna juga dah kahwin di mana lagi? Ni kan, ubi yang asal. Thank you, no questions. I think I should also come in about Jadesha who has come out wonderfully in the society. I can't mention from her own organisation. She was privileged to do some beautiful wedding cards. I can't tell to whom, but for the top levels, right? That's one. I don't know how she contacts and how she gets these contacts. Having all said all that, she has a wonderful husband who gives a wonderful support to her. And this is a wonderful family. And this is also, I must mention, we are very privileged, our boys and girls, not only in Sri Lanka, whoever who is doing well in Sri Lanka here, all over the world, if you are going, let me know. I will tell in which country, which part, which boy or girl is living. Going to Dubai, there is 29. They're working in different places. Go to Australia, Melbourne, Sydney, you let me know. Go to UK, they're very proud. And I'm very proud because sometimes even if I go for a holiday, I'm grabbed by some boys last time when I went. I was to stay with a friend for two days, but I had to stay with one of my sons. He said, no way, you have to stay first day with me. Second day, you can go to your friend. So we are so happy that our next generation in SOS is coming out very well. And uh, any questions you will have, even at any time you can ask, we are ready to answer. There's no question, because today is a special day for me as well. One of my SOS sons got married about a few hours back. I came here from the wedding. Moment he changed the ring, I came here, but he's having the reception in this hall. He's doing extremely well in life and uh, his reception will start at 7 o'clock. It's good for me. We have this and then I go there. Soon after he changed his ring, I said that I had to leave. There is a interesting but This is part of SOS. This is the SOS life. And we are very proud and very happy. And you being the corporate partners, being supporter, supporters, you can be also proud. Any part of Sri Lanka, when you go and get stuck, let me know. I will tell how to get out because our children, boys, girls are all over Sri Lanka. May it be Jaffna, Batiklo, Mara, any place down south that are boys and girls living and all are not doing well, but they are doing generally okay. That's a, the that's a life of Sri Lanka. Thank you very much. Uh, I think, uh, thank you Roshan once again. If there is no patience, we can close uh, because we have passed by 10 minutes. Yes. Okay, so thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mahanama. Thank you, Mr. Devaka. Thank you, Dhananjay. And thank you, Reisha, for coming. And uh, fantastic. So it's uh, over to you. Um, where is Sachita and Zain? It's over to you. Thank you, Mr. Devaka. That was really a very heart-touching moment for all of us. Thank you, Mr. Gayanta and our panelists for that wonderful discussion. I request you to stay with us momentarily. As we approach the conclusion of this remarkable evening, our Deputy National Director of Associations for Asia Sri Lanka, Mr. Kirti Hetiyanaji, will now deliver the vote of thanks. Mr. Thank you, Zainal. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, STM guests, and honored participants. As we draw the curtains on this extraordinary evening, I stand before you with a heart brimming with a category gratitude and appreciation. On behalf of the entire youth camp team, I extend my deepest thank to each one of you for gracing us with your presence and contributing to the resounding success of Youth Camp 2023. First and foremost, we extend our sincere thanks to our distinguished guest, chief guest, Deshabandhu, Mr. Roshan Mahanama, whose presence added unparalleled grace to this event. 
your words of wisdom and encouragement will echo in the hearts of all those present. Also, to our esteemed, co esteemed corporate partners, including ExxonMobil, DHL, Standard Chartered, and Redison, your presence and support amplify the significance of our mission to empower the youth through employability, skill development, and personal growth. The special, special mention of gratitude goes to Mr. and Mrs. Vian Milagi, Mr. Jonathan Alans, Mr. Vajira Vijayasurya for joining us in this momentous occasion. Your commitment of the course of youth empowerment is truly inspiring. I would like to express our sincere thanks to Mr. Divakar Ratnudare, National Director, SOH Children's Village, Sri Lanka and Mr. Dhananjay Ferra, Director of Programs and his team for setting the tone for tonight's celebration with your insightful speeches and his team for all their support. Also, a heartfelt thanks, thank you to Mr. Kayantar Dalpadatu, the Director, Head of Fund Development and Communications and the FDC and Communication team for putting up this event in grand style. Your dedication to the success of youth camp is commendable. I would like to thank you, thank our youth, Mr. Ba Mr. Bhatia Janakanta and his team for the beautiful dancing arrangements. A resounding sound of applause for the each of each of the youth participants here for sharing professional stories, personal stories that re resonate with the heart of youth camp. Your, your courage and resilience are a uh, testament of the real and uh, the tangible benefits of this uh, initiative. To our media partners, thank you for capturing the essence of youth camp and amplifying its message to the wider audience. Your role in spreading awareness is invaluable. Last but not least, to each one of you, in this audience. Thank you for being a fantastic audience and for your active participation. Your enthusiasm and commitment to the cause of youth empowerment inspire us to strive out for even greater heights. As we conclude this remarkable evening, let us carry forward this spirit of youth camp, united in our vision for a brighter future. Unite until we meet again. Have a great rest of the evening and may our shared commitment continue to light the way of the youth we aim to empower. Thank you very much, all of you. Good night. Thank you for that insightful speech and for thanking the corporates for the support received and looking forward to continued collaboration. you to stay with us as we make strides toward, towards a bright future for you and through this youth camp program. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the conclusion of today's event. Thank you to each of you for having been a great audience and for making today's event a resounding success. We couldn't have done this without you. Until we meet again soon, here's our signing off. Have a great rest of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Good night. Safe journey back home.